So, in this video, I'm going to be discussing the expectations theory. So, let's get started. The easiest way to demonstrate this is through sort of an example. So, I've set up an example here where we have a two-year timeline. Now, these I've written down three different interest rates. K1 represents the spot rate right now, the one-year spot rate which basically means the interest rate you can earn for the current year, and that is it. The one year spot rate starting today. K2 represents the two year spot rate, meaning the interest rate that you can earn for two years exactly starting from today. So if you have a two year spot rate today of 2%, that means you can earn 2% for two years, and that's it. E over here is what I'll explain in a minute when I get started started with my example. So, Expectations theory basically states that investors are indifferent between two different strategies, roll over and lock in if they yield the exact same result. So what does that mean? Before I get started, we'll think of what exactly is the lock in strategy. So essentially consider that you have a dollar to invest in the market. I apologize for the marker, I can find a better one. So you have one dollar to invest in the market today. Now. You can invest it for two years, which is the lock-in strategy. You sort of lock in your money for two years starting today. So you, if you lock in your money for two years, you are going to be earning the two-year spot rate or the two-year interest rate that's starting today. So what that basically means is if I have a dollar today and I invest it, I will earn 2%, which is the two-year, 2%, 2 at the end of one year and 2% at the end of, of the second year, at which point I can take out my money and I'll have a positive return. Perfect. On the other hand, the rollover strategy is a bit different. Like I said, the K1 represents the one year spot rate, the interest rate that will result from today to the end of the year, and that is it. So, the other rollover strategy is you can take the same one dollar, instead of investing it for two years at the two year rate, you could invest it for one year at the one year rate. So, you take your dollar and you invest it at 1%. For one year. At the end of the year, you get your money back. Now you only earn 1% at the end of one year, whereas in the lock-in you would have earned 2% at the end of first year and 2% at the end of the second year. Now, in the rollover, you've, it's been one year, you earn 1%, you take out your money. Now, like I said, the spot year, the spot rate does, will not be the same, the one year spot rate will not be the same one year from now. There will be another spot rate at that time. But as of right now, we don't know what that is. So we let it be E, or, ex or the expected future spot rate one year from now. And this terminology is important because that's what's used in the textbook. So E represents the one year spot rate one year from now. So at the end of one year, the one year spot rate then will be 3%. What you could do is, you can take your money and you can invest it at 3% for one more year. So in the lock-in, you took your one dollar, you invested it at the same rate because the two year industry, you earned the same amount over two years and you're done. In the rollover, you took your one dollar, you earned one you won one percent at the one year spot rate. At the end of one year, the spot rates changed, it became three percent, and then you earned three percent till the end of the second year. What expectation theory says is that if these two strategies, the rollover versus the lock-in, yields the same results, investors will be indifferent between the two strategies. And this is in fact true. See, the return on these two investments will in fact be exactly the same. If we have $1 invested at 2% for two years, you can use the future value calculation of $1 times 1.02 times 1.02, and you'll get your future value at the end of two years. For the rollover, you can do the exact same thing. You can take $1 multiplied by 1.01, which is the, first year, the interest you earned in first year, multiplied by, and then the interest rate changes, multiplied by 1.03, and that will give you the exact same future value. So expectation theory basically says that if the return is exactly the same, investors do not care. They do not differentiate between the strategies. They will go, they're equally likely to go for either. 